Why do dogs and cats always fight? The untold story behind the age-old rivalry. You've seen it countless times. The classic showdown between dog and cat. One moment they're sniffing each other cautiously, the next chaos erupts. Fur flies, claws come out, and all you can think is, why do these two just never get along? Is this clash an unbreakable law of nature? Or could there be a hidden reason beneath the surface of this furry feud? Before we dive in, Allow me to introduce the ultimate expert on all things feline, Dr. Mittens, our charismatic cat therapist. Imagine a wise gray tabby donning a tiny lab coat, perched regally on a velvet cushion, ready to reveal the mysteries of interspecies conflict. With a knowing look, he says, humans, you think dogs and cats hate each other because they just don't like us. Think again. This rivalry runs deeper, shaped by millions of years of evolution and misunderstanding. The story starts with evolution itself. Dogs and cats come from entirely different branches of the animal kingdom, each with instincts finely tuned for survival in very different ways. Dogs are descendants of wolves, pack hunters thriving on social structure, hierarchy, and cooperation. Cats, on the other hand, descend from solitary hunters, built for stealth, patience, and independence. These contrasting evolutionary paths mean their behaviors and communication styles are fundamentally different sometimes causing hilarious and sometimes chaotic misunderstandings. Take tail language, for instance. When a dog wags its tail, it's often a friendly gesture, a happy signal to say, hey, I'm glad to see you. But when a cat flicks or swishes its tail, it's usually a warning, a subtle back off. If a dog sees a cat's twitching tail and interprets it as a playful invitation, chaos is bound to follow. This simple miscommunication is often the spark that ignites the fight. And then there's the matter of territory. Both dogs and cats have strong territorial instincts. A cat marking its favorite sunny spot on the couch or a dog guarding its bowl can quickly escalate into a standoff. The way each species marks and defends territory is different too. Dogs rely heavily on scent marking and body posturing, while cats combine scent gland with a highly expressive body language. When these signals clash or go unnoticed, tensions rise. Socialization, or the lack thereof, plays a massive role in whether dogs and cats get along. Puppies and kittens introduced properly at a young age often become inseparable companions, sharing toys, cuddles, and even grooming sessions. But if either species misses this critical window, fear and mistrust can take root leading to those infamous battles we all know too well. And let's not forget individual personality. Just like humans, some dogs are naturally more patient and gentle, while others are boisterous and excitable. Cats vary from shy and reserved to bold and territorial. When a high-energy dog meets a timid cat, the stage is set for conflict. But when a calm dog meets a confident cat, peace can reign. Dr. Mittens raises an eyebrow and smirks. You humans love to blame our natural enemy status. But the truth is, we can be best friends if you give us the chance. It's all about understanding the language and respecting boundaries. Now for a little fun. Did you know that despite their reputation, 
Many dogs and cats form incredibly strong bonds. There are countless heartwarming stories and viral videos showing dogs and cats curled up together, grooming each other, or even playing fetch side by side. Sometimes the loudest fight is just a playful sparring match to test boundaries, not an actual feud. Picture a meme of a dog and cat lying side by side captioned. Frenemies. Now, just practicing our wrestling moves. Or a cat glaring at a dog with the caption. You're lucky you're cute. It's these moments that remind us their rivalry is as much about personality and circumstance as it is about species. So what's the takeaway? Dogs and cats don't always have to fight. Their so-called animosity comes from millions of years of evolution, different communication styles, and individual experiences. But with patience, proper introductions, and respect for their unique behaviors, you can turn rivalry into friendship. Dr. Mittens leans in close, his eyes gleaming with sincerity. Humans, if you want peace in your home, learn our language. Pay attention to our signals, because behind every hiss and bark is a story waiting for understanding. As the video draws to a close, a paw reaches out and taps the subscribe button, and the screen flashes. Unlock the secrets of your pets one paw at a time. If you enjoyed this journey into the world of dogs and cats, hit that like button. Subscribe for more fascinating insights from Dr. Mittens and friends. And don't forget to ring the bell so you never miss an episode. After all, peace between dogs and cats might just start with you.